Welcome back, everyone. I did all the things. I got some new equipment for Eric. Those boomer eggs fit his outfit. Yeah. Um, got his skills up and running. And I'm going to show you the most broken ability in the game. Um, just because it's fun. But we'll get to an actual fight first. Just to show you that Eric's the best character in the game. I'm going to go and point out that if this game is going to go down the route of she couldn't take she couldn't wear gloves to keep from touching things and turning them into gold that this whole castle would not the doors would not open she there would be this castle it didn't exist before she you would still need something besides gold in the hinges yeah to, to open the doors it's like if 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 it turns to gold it's gonna stay stationary yeah there is no I made this and now it can just do this now yeah oh hello slot machine we just found this bring it home yeah. They're enemies, by the way. They're like mimics. And slot machine? Yeah. Some of them are, some of them aren't. Interesting. How can the ones that aren't have uh, tokens still? They just do. That door. Could it be? Excuse me, Hendrick. I didn't mean for you to talk to me. are open. Okay, well, let's see, um, tactics, everyone follow orders, confirm, right. fight. So, what you're gonna do first is abilities, divide. There are now three arrows. Defend, do your defend, best. defend. <laughs> <laughs> Accept your fate. And now you guys can just kill them. Because he refuses to do it on auto, which is fair. Yeah. 
You have to physically put him into divide and then just fucking go for it. There are other um, boomerang abilities, like I think multi-hit or something like that. You would um, you would do in that case, and he can get up to like 16 hits or something like that. It is ridiculous. Yeah, that's a bit nuts. It's uh, absolutely disgusting. <laughs> Nope, don't need to go to the throne room yet. I have items to find. Oops, excuse you. Okay, I guess we're fighting. Later on in the game, the um, the slot machines actually become very important because there's a specific one that you can just steal mini medals from. Will we actually need it? You do if you're going for like all the costumes and shit. But as for what we're doing, we don't need it. But if I'm ever grinding or something, I'll probably still do it. Oops. Yeah. You have to physically play the game, though, if you're going to use Eric. He is the, the strongest and best character. But if you're going to play the game like I do, don't worry about it. This is the team you want. Okay, here we go. Hold on tight now! Victory is ours. How's life for the old dog yet? One treasure chest. It's probably right here.
saw an edit the other day of um, Xenos and Alamigo. Uh huh. And it was man, I can't, I can't, I'll never be able to forget this moment in the story. And it was uh, Xenos turning around to walk away, and like the back of his ass said "juicy" on it. <laughs> Is back in his really chunky armor. Yeah. I would still... You know what? As much as I'm like, let's move on, let's continue forward. If Xenos walked into the shot of another cutscene, I wouldn't be surprised that he's still alive. Right, yeah. Somebody did point out, though, that um, the power scaling is kind of off. Blah. Because we um, we just fought basically an apocalypse. Uh-huh. And uh, our next problem is some fucking assholes in the dark world going, Oh, we're just gonna, we're the arch fiends, and we're the most dangerous things in the world right now. Yeah, right now. Yeah, okay. I take care of everything else. Like, I get, I understand. It's gonna be hard to keep like a power scale, but man, once you fucking been, def once you fought and defeated God, where do you go? Yeah, you defeat other gods. That's what you do. Oh, we did that. That's the raid tier. We beat uh, four of the twelve. Mm. I got lost for just a second. But we're back. This is a me level of uh, exploring. Yeah. We don't have anywhere to go after this. It's just this part and it's done, right? <laughs> yeah. Okay. This is it. This is the boss fight for this, and then it's off to Ar Arborea. <laughs> Arbordia. <laughs> Could it be Mia? Call me that again and you'll regret it. I haven't been Mia for a long time. The name's Gildiga. Wait, you're Yes, well done. I'm the big baddie. It was all me. Gold fever stealing all the statues. Me, me, me. <gasps> What's the matter, dear brother? Aren't you happy to see your little sister doing so well for herself? Anyway, what are you doing out of your cage? I wasn't planning on having my men bring you here till later. Well, I got out, <laughs> and now I'm here. <laughs> You have every right to hate me, Mia. I hate myself for what I did to you. But the Vikings? The fever? Why would you do all this? Welcome. <laughs> oh, questions, questions. Always with the questions. Fine. If you're so desperate to know, then I'll tell you. It all began when the world tree fell from the sky and the Lord of Shadows went to visit a certain lucky girl. No, no, no flashbacks. We're done with this. Nope. More. Child, 
forced to slave away in poverty, in cold, in hunger, abandoned by your parents, by your guardians, by your brother. Your young heart overflows with greed, with rage, with despair. You will make a splendid addition to my world of darkness. Darkness. I am Mordigan, Lord of Shadows, ruler of all Erdria. Come, child. Drink of my power and be reborn. <laughs> I have been reborn. Mordigan, what did that monster do to you? Monster? <laughs> He's not the one who left his sister to rot all alone in a cave. Thanks to that monster, I'm here today. Thanks to him, I have all the gold, all the power I ever wanted. <laughs> and more. And for my next trick, I'm going to turn everyone in the world into golden soldiers, just like those stupid Vikings, stupid. and work them all to the bone. Ah, oh, so you really did turn the chief and his men into your slaves. What's happened to you? <laughs> you really think you deserve to know? After all you've done, I'll show you what you deserve. <laughs> I've thought about you every day for the last five years. The thought of saving you was the only thing that kept me going. It's all my fault. All of this. Everything that's happened to you. Which means I have to finish this. I have to take you down. Do it. You won't though, now you're, you're you not the party. you decide to play the hero, you're too late. You couldn't save me, and you can't save yourself. Or your pathetic little friends. Why can't you all just leave me alone? I don't need a brother or a hero or anyone. You're worthless to me, but you'll be worth your weight in gold. Literally. <sighs> There was no need for that. Let's do this. Anyways. <laughs> yeah. Good job, Solando. Congrats. So there's no way to get unfolded? Yeah, it's okay. just over time. 
he just paralyzed her until we could get back into in, in the game. Grab let a blunt. Yep. God, we got a lot of free fucking hits just then. Wow. We did it, darling. Yeah, we did. We did it. Good job, Sylvan, though. Things lost control of our power. If we can't stop her, gold fever's gonna spread like wildfire. <sighs> I can't let that happen. This is all my fault. I'm sorry, Mia. I have to end this. <sighs> You can do it, buddy. Illusion of choice. Do it. She's my kid sister. I have to try and save her. Hmm. Yes, but have you considered cutting the necklace off? things used to be when we'd fight and laugh and fight some more when all we had was each other we didn't need money we didn't need anything I don't care how poor and cold and hungry we were I want it back I don't need this I don't need gold
<laughs> nice work, Eric. Just lost us a fortune. Shut the fuck up. Two more orbs to go. To goo. Good. Your sister was a vessel for a power beyond human understanding. It has taken a terrible toll. We must let her rest. But do not fear, my child. Her life is not in danger. In time, she will recover. Good. I owe you. Mia owes you. Here. You should have this. That gave that to me already. The seer oh, told me that if I helped the luminary, that too. I'd find forgiveness. <laughs> I wish. Yes, he knew what he was talking about, huh? <laughs> We'd better make a move. Mia's safe here for now, which is good, because I've got things to be getting on with. Like helping you take Mordigan down. Hell yeah. You won't, though. You won't be in the party. Let's hit the road, partner. I guess we should talk to the queen real quick. See if she's got anything to say on this matter. So where are we headed next? We're heading to the tree place, right? Yeah, to Arborea. Arborea. You can just teleport, is that why you don't need the ship? No, I still gotta walk there. It's just off to the side of Sniffle. Uh, okay. Yeah, I just went the wrong way. Whoopsie daisy. So, uh, 14 added that whole, uh, Island content. Mm hmm. Where you have your own island to just pretty much just fuck around on and do stuff in. Yeah. And it was 
said, basically, this is all casual. We just want you to take your time and have fun with it. It's just, it's something just for fun, just to, just to do when you're bored. Yeah. Um, and the fan base took that personally. Oh. And have optimized the best way to do everything on that map within 12 hours. There was a guy who um, showed that uh, his his island was at max rank, and he hadn't built anything. Okay. He leveled up his island through just cra uh, just just gathering. Okay. And they go, "What the fuck did you do this with just gathering nodes?" And he popped up the thing that's like the little um, that they have little uh, achievement checklists uh -huh. and one of them is uh, gather 30,000 times on the island and he was at 11,000 something. Jesus Christ. And he was like, yeah, yeah, actually that's that's exactly what I did. <laughs> now are these items that you can use off the island? island or I'm not sure. I haven't been there. Stuff? I'm gonna go there later. Maybe tomorrow. Maybe after we're done recording. It, it depends on how tired I am. But if it's if it's that easy to get that shit done as casual content, I'm a professional casual. <laughs> yeah. I wonder what what the appeal is. Do you get anything for doing it? Is it is it just the process that's just you're experiencing it? Maybe just something to do. To the Arborean Highlands. I'm going to the fucking. I'm going to the place and I'm gonna release my uh, wind up Tonberry and just watch it be a menace. Yeah. Watch him go. Yeah, my way. This is where we're, we'll stop for today. Okay. Or at least for this episode. I want to try... I want to get... Um, I want to get to Arborea. Because then, after that, I can actually be free to train. Do you get them right away, or do you have to do the event with it? Yeah, I get them. I think I get them right away. I don't think there's, like, a boss or anything in Arborea. I know there's not a boss in Arborea. But getting there... I know that the Boreal Serpent becomes real again, but I don't know if it's this one or if it's in the next timeline. Alright, but let's end the episode. Yeah, let's end the episode, because... You're being chased, good sir. I'm in camp, it's fun. Okay. <laughs>